with great Lego comes great responsibility or something like that. On today's episode, we are going to be diving into the world of Marvel with the new Lego Spider-Man mask. Now this set was released January 1st, 2024. The set cost me $89.99 Canadian and has 487 pieces, zero minifigs, and unfortunately, 11 stickers. Now, normally, this is the part of the video where I would say, let's get building. But today we are going to try something new. I have the finished set right here. Instead, let's find out if this set is worth your money. My name's Luigi and this is The Brick Connection. Now we have seen many variations of Spider-Man and the spider suit from live action to animation. So I am very happy that Lego decided to go with the classic Spider-Man look for this set. This is now the fifth Lego Marvel helmet, adding itself to the likes of Iron Man, Carnage, Venom, and Star-Lord. Lego has definitely been showing Spider-Man some love lately, and I for one am here for it. Now, if you've never built one of these Lego helmets, the truth is, if you've built one, you've built them all. They aren't complicated builds, but can get a bit repetitive in terms of adding these helmets to your collection. Though, they do use some fun techniques, which we will go over. Now, this set is rated as an adult set, but honestly, that's more for the fact that these are Lego display sets rather than play ones. And if you do have a younger Lego fan that has been eyeing this set, it is fairly straightforward and shouldn't be too much trouble. These builds usually take about 45 minutes and Spider-Man is no different. Now look, Spider-Man is one of those characters you really can't mess up because if you do, you will hear about it. And Lego has definitely shown it the attention it deserves. My biggest complaint is that we have a combination of printed and sticker pieces. I mean, does anyone really like putting on these stickers at this point? The stickers are on the bigger side and even putting them on curved pieces shouldn't be too much of a hassle. There are some really cool features and techniques like adding the mouth and chin with an inverted 2x3 plate with bar attaching to Lego clips, which is the same technique used to add the forehead. The jawline is using a similar technique. Instead though, it is using the standard 1x2 handles attaching to the 1x2 clips. The eyes are attached with a toe ball and socket and everything snaps together perfectly. There is definitely enough to keep you entertained and satisfied on this build as long as you like Marvel and of course Spider-Man. Branded sets have their place and I mean if you look behind me you can see that I am a huge fan of branded sets but not when they lose what makes Lego Lego. And for the most part here, the Lego helmet builds are using standard Lego pieces and techniques to make something truly amazing. I wanna try something new with the introduction of the Brick Connection score. There will be three categories, value, aesthetic, and build, and each category will be based off of five stars. For value, as much as I do love the Lego helmet builds, the truth is they are a little overpriced for what you are getting. I paid $89.99 Canadian and got 487 pieces and that is why I am giving it 2.5 stars. Now for aesthetic, I really do like what Lego did here. I love the way that this turned out and I am giving it 4 stars. Now for build, the truth is these builds can get a bit repetitive depending on how many helmets you've built in the past. There are some really fun techniques though and I wanted to give it 4 stars. The fact that I paid $89 and had 11 stickers is going to bump this down to 3.5, giving it a possible 10 out of 15 stars. If you enjoyed this video, a like and a sub would be truly amazing and please let me know if you enjoyed the new format or if you want me to bring back adding the build process into the videos. Until next time, my name is Luigi and this is The Brick Connection.